Hello and welcome to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with me, the Canarian. Uh, now let's get straight back into this. I'm going to try and finish this siege as quickly as possible. And after this siege, I'm going to go back to the mainland. We're going to try and see if we can deal with that. Those theocracies, the uh, Welsh uh, theocracy and the Brit Brit uh, the Breton theocracy. See if we can get rid of those because they keep on they keep on being used to quite uh, effectively, unfortunately, attack my lands, or at least the lands of Engelond. Um, let's execute him, because we can. Um, and offer peace to this person. There you go. Right, fantastic. And that leaves us with still a lot of forces. Good. Hopefully things can get rebuilding, and we will have plenty of men for the next wars we fight. Right, okay. And before the month ends, let's go back up here and let's start laying some some pain down on this dude, eh? Right, let's see. Um, would anybody willing to join us? Um, Arthur's Duke of Glamorgan. Um, what if we sent you a gift? No, we need to go to the people who've got their hand a bit shaky. No, they're not going to. Okay. Is our council operating at full full capacity? Ooh. They've become Norway. What's going on? They're invading Manav in the war over that. Okay. Well, that keeps them occupied. So Nor Scotland's Norway again. Or is Norway Scotland? Ah, I see. Oh dear. Death occurs. Um, arrange a marriage between us and... Nope. Um, we need somebody who is... Preferably somebody who's... You know... Oh, wait a second, I know. Let's go down to... See if we can get a claimant to come and marry us. Um, let's go for a younger one. Um, hmm. She's ah, that wouldn't produce any heirs. Not very useful. Um, this lady would work out, wouldn't she? We could arrange a marriage between her and Goddard. Mm, relative account. Uh, we could say this this lady here arrange a marriage between her and. Goddard? Yes, that would seem to work. Fantastic. Okay. Marvellous. Right, so that's that sorted. Now, how is this murdering going? Are we close to murdering him? Because I'd really like to murder him right now. Fantastic. Okay, I accept the offer. Yes, 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 we'll get one of our own. I mean... She's not much use of us, and he's still quite young, you know. Um, I'm actually going to quickly do my uh, arranged courtier marriages thing. Courtier marriages, courtier marriages. Is that here? Um, employment. Da -da -da. Ah, marriage decisions. Uh, yeah, there we go. Done. Fantastic. Now, come on, intrigue. Get on with it. Get rid of, get rid of them. Ah. Ah, here we go. We're going to ambush the Cardinal, disguised as Highwayman. Yes, the roads aren't safe anymore. I pray that this works, because to be honest, I really don't like the way they keep on attacking everything. Come on, come on, come on, do it before this happens. Um, they let the driver go, and he's convinced... Uh, ah, they made short work of him, so he's dead. Fantastic. Okay, he's dead. Fantastic, fantastic, that's over. Okay, so he's... And that means that the new... is Patriarch Maurice. And he's a pretty poor person, to be honest. I mean, he's a hunter at the very best. So, do you think we'll be able to... Fantastic. Yes, okay. Now this is going to cause us some problems because P 
people don't really like it at all when you banish people. How shocking is that, eh? These these silly lords, eh? I mean, I don't think we can revoke either of his titles, so the only way to do this is to banish him. So we're going to do that. And we're going to have everybody hate us now. So let's um, grant away these places as vice royalties. Because <laughs> most of our vassals now hate us at minus 100. So it'd be good to have some loyalists at the top. Um, yes, yes, that would be rather good. So um, King John, Prince... Uh, He's Prince Edmund. Yes, yes, Prince Edmund. Um, first of all, I want to transfer a few of the Irish places back to actual Ireland. So that's probably most of this and that. So if we go to uh, John, we transfer the vassalage. Um, is it Rexford? Where is Rexford? Um, O'Neill. There we go. It's already a massive one done. See, we just need to do... Uh, Ardmaca now. Right, transfer vassalage. Da -da -da. Right, Ardmaca, Ardmaca. Or does it come under? Ah, here we go. Um, and then we just need. Is it Clare or Thomond? Or Corcaig? Or Munster? Okay, so we'll transfer vassalage of. Cage, um, um, hmm. That's unfortunate. Doesn't seem like we can actually transfer them. Can we? Okay, Wexford we can transfer, I'm pretty sure. We can transfer Wexford to him. Can we transfer anything else after that? Strathern. Um, don't think so. That's annoying. Oh well. Um, that seems to be unfortunate. Can we release them from Brittany? Can I grant her the vice royalty of Brittany? Will that make her loyal? No, I don't think it will. Um, I'm going to grant King John the vice royalty. Or I could grant. Um. Why not grant him the landed title of Brittany, the Kingdom of Brittany? There we go. Wonder if is Ireland now united again? Nope, it's just that he's, he's taken over everything. So let's get rid of more of ours. Choose a loyal Welsh subject and grant it to them. This dude seems like the right kind of guy. He's only minus 20, only hates us minus 20. And if we grant him the Vice Royalty of Wales. He likes us, there we go. See, this is how you make friends. Ah, is that Engelond? No, it doesn't seem to be Engelond anymore. Oh well, that that's a thing. Um, and then it would seem... We need to give England away because, as you can see, here's what opinions look like at the moment. Not fantastic, really. I will admit. Um, who can we give the vice royalty to? Um, no, he hates us. He hates us. He hates us. I wonder if this dude... Oh, yeah, he hates... Uh, strangely enough, this dude doesn't hate us that much. He hates us. He hates us. He hates us. What about... Ah, Pate. Grant him the Vice Royalty of England. There we go. Keep them loyal. Let's look at the direct vassals. So we only have to really deal with... Uh, you know, these ones. I think I might grant Somerset away to a more loyal person as well. Um, but for the moment... For the moment, it's like that. Don't know what's going on here. Siege of Topcliffe. Okay. So now that we've granted away all of our kingdoms, so that we have uh, more loyal vassals beneath us, I wonder. Um, we need to build up our military strength. That's what we need to do. Otherwise, we're going to be faced with a lot of trouble. 
Okay, Kingdom of Ireland, High Crown Levies. Right, okay. So we've done that now, finally, finally. Um, Benevolent ruler, King. Ah, I feel a new appreciation of King John of Ireland. John, uh, Goddard the Just. And he is the just. He's not a tyrant. Goddard the just. He did what had to be done. People may have said it was unlawful, but he took away those theocracies because they were violent and expansive and they didn't respect the traditional borders. And, uh, yeah, so we are going to, uh, we're going to deal with them like that because, I mean, we can't really be having, you know, one of our vassals effectively trying to take over our kingdom. Is that part of England again? No, that's still part of Wales. I thought it was. Um, de jure. But it seems to me that his liege... I am his liege, yes. And his liege is... Ah, there we go. Right, many of my vassals are holding a meeting. One of the topics is called to my rules, so that's good. Ah, so Viceroy Pate uh, will be leading that. He has a positive view of me. Most of my vassals have decided to cooperate. Ah, they may be able to field more soldiers. Fine. Um, I've decided to institute the high crown levies in England in the vice royalty of Engelond. Since this is a crown law, you are the former elector of Engelond. You may vote, even though you are not my vassal yet. <laughs> Viceroy Pate the Merry. Pate's an interesting chap, he is. He seems to have done quite well for himself, to be honest. And he's produced Prince Pate the Gentle of Lothian, um, and Randolph Aldagon, with another Pate and another Robert. Um, Thieves' Guild has been eradicated, fantastic. Okay, Dangerous Factions, Independence. Ah, the Welsh one is backing them. I don't think that's too much to worry about, to be honest. Okay. I really want to go back to war in, uh, Castile to try and take them apart, but I can't because if we look at my military, ah no, we're coming back up, but we should leave it a little, a little bit longer so that we've got you know as many troops as words would be an adventurer is gamming for some sort of a attack. Right, adventurer threats. We could ah, oh, we're not going to assassinate him. He's going to arrive at some point, and we have to beat him up. He's what is he trying to do? Why is he coming to declare war on us? Um, and what are you doing? The Polish Revolt. How, oh, have you been called into that? Hmm. Poland is currently ruled by John. So what, are you gonna come in and try and help John? What's going on? You seem to be. Yeah, the kingdom is just uh, that bit because everywhere else is my vassals. Right, okay, so I don't think there's... The vassal levies things should go down soon enough. And hopefully when Goddard dies, none of this negativity from this whole Brittany and Welsh business will carry on to him. Um, being a patient person was trying to hear other opinions. Being a, Every opinion is flawed. Might as well hear, hear them all. Um, he's a great king, I think, personally. Uh, have you got a pregnant? You don't seem to have had a pregnant yet, no. Um, you've got an attractive wife. Your heir is not attractive, but he's a, he's a, got Marshal 16. You can't, you can't deny the Aldagons' military prowess. Whatever you say about the Aldagons, they're tough cookies they are when it comes to combat. Okay, there's an English fleet. Ah, oh, an English army has appeared. Ah, oh, they're being attacked. Yeah, I think they are. That's unfortunate. If they manage to rendezvous with the well, uh, the Polish forces, which they don't seem to be able... Oh, no! One line of the Aldagon family seems to have ended. Yeah. Duke William. Not many of this um, faction managed to actually, of that particular branch, managed to continue on very well. Quite unfortunate, really. Right, yes. Um, uh, you would hope that they could weaken them at the very least. They seem to be faster moving, though. The cathedral has been built in Ronda. I don't 
9th of April, 12th of April. When are these guys going to come together to defeat these, um, these dudes? They seem to be running away all the time. Which makes me wish I could really join in. I like the fact that Ireland's now all unified. That's quite nice. Right. So again, we're waiting until we uh, are a little bit closer to the point where we can comfortably be assured that we are going to... Ooh, uh, let's make King John happy. Right, okay. There we go. Is there anyone else who's not sending us a full amount? Really, it's just King John, isn't it? It's the laws that are stopping us. Independence. When are you going to die? I don't like you one bit. I'm going to kill you. I can't kill you. don't like you. Right, oh, loan decisions. We haven't got any loans taken. I think that's good. We're going to hang on for a bit. Wait until the start of next year, and then I think we're going to go into Spain. Or Castile, and uh, try and liberate Galicia. Actually, we could have a look at... Mm killing him? Yeah, I want to try and kill his heir, because then, once he dies, we'll be able to push any, any weak claims at him. Uh, truces are expiring, so expiring. Okay, one with Manav. We could try and claim Manav. I think we have someone who could. Claim Manav. Ah, yes, one of our vassals. That'd be fantastic. Um, my reputation is ruined. Oh, it's not really ruined. Most people are no murderers in this world. I mean, I remember when uh, the fir the founder, you know, he had a small boy and he was a known murderer at the age of zero. Can you not just be happy with us? Tyrant. God, for generations you're going to know Goddard as a tyrant. It's unfortunate, really. Um... Oh, and look at this. Look at all these little signs. All these little knights of Santiago. And they're, like, they're little knights. Little, um, you know, holy orders. Hmm. They haven't spread to my realm. Are they in my realm there? They are. There's one of them. I don't like them. Don't want them around. They're undermining the authority of the king. Oh look! Ah, uh, they lost that one. My brother boys repel at pay time of Bamberg. Yeah, that sounds nice. So they're gonna lose that battle, but if they weaken them enough, they won't be able to properly push against the uh, current order. We are close friends. Fantastic. Okay, I think we're at that point where I think we, I might be confident enough. If we've raised our forces. We'd have a lot. Um, not as much as him. Ah, oh, damn it. Why does he have to be so strong? If he dies, his heir is just as good as him. So we need... Okay. I need this assassination attempt to work, really. It should. It should. Uh, they let the driver go. He's con yeah, they made sure work of him. Fantastic. Okay, so there's uh, that, and then we'll try and kill the, uh, the good old king. Mm, not going to do that. But his heir is five years old, so we've got plenty of time to try and kill him. Right, okay, we could war for Galicia. We could hire some mercenaries to make, uh, make it clear that we are the victor. That'd probably be the way to go. Okay, let's do this. Right, um, let's put this army here. Uh, wait a second. Raise the fleet. So, this force, get on the ship. Come down to Winchester. This force, get on the ship. Winchester. And we, what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, we're not going to use these forces. 
not going to use the extremely small forces that I don't really need to worry about. We're going to invade, try and make uh, Galicia free, and hopefully also at the same time, kill the Spanish Lord, because if we kill him, then his five-year-old grandson becomes the heir, and when he becomes the heir, the, you know, the throne is so weak that we can press uh, claims, weak claims, which actually I believe is what our wife has. Yes, a weak claim, she's a weak claim on the Kingdom of Castile, but I won't go for that, I'm going to go for Navarra and Portugal. And if we press those claims, then, you know, either we're going to free them up or make them part of our realm, and I'm happy with both, to be honest. It'd make a very interesting map also for when we actually come into the uh, EU4 era. Right, okay, they're going around. Get on your ship, go around. Get on your ship, go around. I oh, know they're not right next to each other, but you know. Well. And then go around. All your ships go around. They're going to go there. Uh, I think everybody's going. We've sorted them all out. Anyway. Um, apart from him, get them on the ship. And I'm going to take them. And we're not going to take these dudes either. But we are going to keep these men here. Okay, so we'll be back next time with the actual invasion. But everything's set up. Um, uh, I'm just going to get rid of these ones as well. So that's a sign we definitely will need mercenaries. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, leave a like or a comment. Also share this video, it really does help out. And also subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you in the next episode when we invade. Have fun.